Hope you're having a fabulous day. Today I'm going to show you a little technique that I know as um, cracked glass technique. Now this gives a really vintage look to a card. And basically it looks like um, the old brooches that you get and with age they start getting cracked. So um, I wanted to show you how to do this technique. And it's really simple, but it does take a little bit of time and a fair amount of embossing powder to clear embossing powder to get a really good effect. But I'll give you the quick version. Right. So we've got um, a little image. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my Versamarking pad. Mine's a bit grotty, I'm sorry about that. It's very quite old. This is my this isn't the one I stamp with, this is the technique one, so it's um the ink pad's a bit stained. So I've just done this bird um on a stitched circle and I've coloured it with the um stamping blends. And what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that I've got lots and lots of um, Versamark covering the entire surface of my um, piece that I want to make into the cracked glass. Now I've actually had stamped the bird and cut it out. So I've got some clear embossing powder here and I'm just going to sprinkle it all over the top and yes don't freak out I will use a lot and that's why you always have some for backup so to Make sure that I've got it on the edge where I had my fingernail. Okay, so we've got it all covered with embossing powder. Just put your embossing powder over to one side so it doesn't um, accidentally get heated up. And now I'm going to use my heat tool. And I'm just going to heat it up and melt all that embossing powder. So you make sure that all of your embossing powder is completely melted. Then you grab your Versamark again and you cover it again. And I recommend that before you try this technique, actually re-ink your Versamark. And you'll need to re-ink your Versamark immediately following um, doing this technique. Right, so I'm just going to pour what was in the lid. Here. Again, completely cover it. Try not to get your fingers on the Versamark. Because you want the, versum, the embossing powder to stick everywhere. Again, you move the uh, embossing powder out the way. And we're going to heat it up again. Okay. 
And you see it's starting to get a build up of Versamark and it's quite a shiny surface. So you want to keep doing that and if you're using a stamping up embossing, clear embossing powder, you want to probably do it about, repeat that process about 10 times. And the reason, and I know that sounds a lot, but the reason you want to do it so many times is you want a really thick um, layer of embossing powder. So you want it so that the embossing powder um, starts to curl like this one has here. And because it's got so much embossing powder, it's actually started to crack itself. So I've done this one about 10 times and there are products on the market called ultra thick emboss clear embossing powders and you still want to use, if you're going to use that, you want to do it at least three or four times. So then when, so see how that's quite firm and this one still has some bend in it so you want it so that it's really firm and then you're just going to crack it and there might be little bits that crack off and that's okay because that sort of adds to it and then I think that that's enough cracking I'm just going to push it down nice and flat from the reverse side because you want to be able to stick it onto a card. Okay, so that's not the complete technique. That's you're two thirds of the way there. Well, actually, no, three quarters maybe. So then I'm going to take some. Um, ink and I'm using early espresso you could use um, crumb cake or any of the neutral inks actually you could use a, a bright colored ink if you wanted to and you're just going to work that over the top and you're working it into the cracks okay And this is another one of those messy techniques. I don't know why I keep showing you things that are a little bit messy. Because I don't really like mess. I like to be really quite clean. But anyway. So we've got lots of ink. We've worked it into our cracks. of paper towel you could use something else um, and you're just going to wipe off any of the excess ink be really gentle because if you're not you might pull off some of the cracked embossing powder or cracked embossed surfaces yeah and so what happens is the ink soaks into the cracks and gives you, I'm just going to ink there, gives you a um, very vintage look. So it's like that the dirt over time has gotten into an old brooch or something like that. So then all you need to do then is just stick it onto your card. So as you can see, these are two completely different cards with this different colours, the same technique. Um, you can use a combination of, of inks to get the effect that you want. But, but when you're sticking it down, make sure you stick it down really well so that it doesn't bend 
Um, so I recommend using some glue, which I forgot to bring out. So there you go. That's our cracked glass technique. And again, all you need for it is clear embossing powder, some Versamark, your heat tool, and some ink, a sponge dauber, yeah, and embossing powder. So I've had this one a while, obviously. Um, I sort of had a stock of it. Um, so, hope you enjoyed today's technique. And until next time, happy creating.